In this video, we will review the movements and surface anatomy of the elbow. The movements of the elbow are flexion, extension, pronation when the anterior surfaces of the hand and forearm face medially and posteriorly, and supination when these face anteriorly. The lateral collateral ligament is tested by doing a varus stress test. The medial collateral ligament is tested by doing a valgus stress test. The proximal limit of the ulnar fossa is the elbow's flexion crease, which is between the arm and the forearm. This line is also the union of the epitrochlea and the epicondyle. The lateral border of the ulnar fossa is formed by the brachioradialis muscle. The medial border is a pronator teres. The superficial content of the ulnar fossa, from medial to lateral, is the distal tendon of the biceps, the brachial artery, and the median nerve. Medial to the biceps tendon, we can palpate its expansion into the bicipital aponeurosis, also called the Lacertus fibrosis. At the lateral side of the elbow, we can see the cephalic vein, which is relevant during surgery. The musculocutaneous nerve becomes the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve, which runs parallel to this vein. This nerve provides the sensory innervation to the anterolateral surface of the forearm. At the medial side of the elbow, we can observe the basilic vein. The osseous structures of the lateral elbow are the epicondyle, the radial head of the radius, which can be felt during pronation and supination, and posteriorly, the olecranon, which continues to the posterior border of the ulna. The proximal muscle bellies, from anterior to posterior, are the biceps, the brachialis, and the brachioradialis. The radial nerve may be felt in the interval between the brachialis and the brachioradialis, when the radial nerve goes from a posterior to lateral position in the upper limb. At the lateral and distal part of the elbow, we can see the contraction of the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis the extensor indicus propius, the extensor digitorum communis, and the extensor digiti minimi. The joint line of the radiocapitellar joint can be felt between the epicondyle and the radial head. Following this line posteriorly, we can feel a soft spot, which is the ideal point for articular puncture. This area is covered by the anconeus muscle. At the medial side of the elbow, we can palpate the epitrochlea. The medial intermuscular septum separates the anterior muscle compartment from the posterior. Moving posteriorly, we can palpate the ulnar nerve going into the cubital tunnel. The skin of the posterior surface is loose thanks to the presence of the olecranon bursa, which allows the skin to glide over the olecranon as well as flexion of the elbow without skin tension. Just below the skin, we can feel the olecranon, which is continuous with the posterior border of the ulna.